anyone can post whatever they want to about you online and what you're about to find out is um, your solutions in getting that content removed really aren't that great and uh, they can be pretty time consuming and expensive but uh, it is the framework that we have to work with so let's go ahead and go over this and see if we can do it in under five minutes okay so first I'm not an attorney so make sure to consult with an attorney on any of the uh, legal issues brought up here okay so court order the first thing here is it has to be legit defamation and not just someone posting their opinion online. If the person who posted the comments didn't leave their name, but you know who it is, then you, you have to prove it. And there's companies that specialize in this. The name of the uh, industry is Online Forensics, and they help with that whole identification process. It typically involves having a court issue an injunction that is sent to the website, the host, or ISP, and then they're required to release the IP address of the poster and that usually leads to the identity of the person who posted the comments. And the next step is you have to sue them for defamation. If you win, then you should be given a court order. You send that court order to Google and usually within a few days or weeks the listings are removed with uh, this little note. Wherever the listing was in your search results, there will be a little note saying like this listing was removed. Go to chillingeffects.org to understand why. Um, something along those lines so right now the strategy uh, it has a reputation for being expensive and really time consuming so it's you know it's not the thing that everybody does by any means the next one is DMCA and DMCA stands for Digital Millennium Copyright Act and so uh, in these situations whoever posted the um, information about you if they're showing images that you own the rights to and they didn't get your permission to post them then you can send a DMCA notice to the website's host and the host will send a warning to the website owner and sometimes even remove the page uh, before you fire one of these off though make sure and check with an attorney and even have the attorney send it just because there can be backlash like uh, if you send out the DMCA and the host gets it and the host just decides they'll just go ahead and take down the whole website and then it's later found out that you didn't actually own the images and uh, so the DMCA was invalid well then you're you know you're on the hook for having this entire website removed so you know you just want to be careful with it and, and definitely run that one through an attorney the next one is content violation so Google will remove content that violates its terms um, this but it really boils down to if it's very sensitive personal information like social security number um, credit card numbers things like that or if the content is extremely vulgar um, graphical type stuff that is generally what will get search listings removed for content violations another way to get a listing removed from Google is if the website has already removed the content so if your situation is that the post has been removed from the website but it's still showing up in Google well actually the fix for that is super easy and quick uh, it's you're going to submit a Google de-indexing request or um, uh, basically inform Google to recrawl the page because certain keywords that used to be on the page aren't there anymore so it's no longer relevant for that keyword go ahead and check the description there's a link right there for this uh, super easy it'll take you about two or three minutes so that pretty much covers the less obvious solutions and of course the obvious being to convince the website owner or the person who posted the comment to remove it um, that's that's very rare but uh, and actually I've been in the industry for a long time and I've never once seen that happen um, not to say that it doesn't though I'm sure somewhere out there it does and so it's worth a shot um, but if none of these solutions work for you you'll probably find yourself like like most people in the realm of SEO reputation management PR because that's really the only option that's a situation where whatever company you hire whether you do the work yourself the concept is to make your search results competitive with positive content with uh, content that you authorize and by pushing these positive sites higher a natural thing that can happen is the negative stuff starts to move lower like onto page two page three page four in search engines the difficult thing here is these campaigns um, sometimes they can be easy and take a few months and sometimes they can take years so um, as you get more involved in that you know the main thing to remember is to approach the industry intelligently 
uh, watch your spend. You don't want to overspend. You really just you just need a team who's going to do quality work. They're going to hammer it out each month at a good price, and that's pretty much what you're looking for. So make sure to check the links in the description for uh, for more information on some of those legal processes. And uh, you know, sorry that there's not a really quick fix here, but hopefully this um, this will at least help point you in the right direction for you.